Hi everyone, it's Peggy Merwin with Stamp with Peggy. Today is Monday, April 11th. Can you believe this month is almost half over? We have Easter coming this weekend, so hopefully you have fun plans, whatever you choose to do. Hi Roseanne, thanks for joining. Um, this past weekend was fabulous. The weather was predicted to not be so good and it turned out to be great um, for this time of year anyways. Hi, Chris. Um, my son and his family came for the weekend, and then my daughter and her family came for dinner Saturday night. We were celebrating my daughter-in-law's 40th birthday, which is this Friday. Um, so my hubby made ribs for the weekend, or for Saturday night, so he was outside, and the kids were outside playing garbage ball, and everybody was having a good time. Hi, Lori. Hi, Sue. I'm trying to think who all I saw coming on while I was gabbing here. Hi, Nancy. All right, I'm gonna get it pulled up here so I can see. Okay, I know we have Roseanne and Annie and Jackie and Lori um, and Nancy. So everybody say hi so I know that you're there. Um, so yeah, today was 60 degrees. The weekend was running 55-ish. A little bit windy, but it's beautiful. I have crocus in the flower beds out front. So we are getting there. Um, let's see, what do we have going on? We have two weeks left of the last chance list. So if you have not gotten those items out of there, things are selling out, stamp sets too. And this is the first year that they've done that. So you will wanna get those things ordered. Um, some of the dies are starting to sell out and the punches. So get in there and get those things before they're gone. And then we start coming up on May 3rd with the new annual catalog. My shipment just came in, so I will be getting those ready to go in the mail or ready for pickup. Um, trying to decide if I'm going to do some type of spiral bound message or um, special again this time. So let me know if that's something you're interested in and I'll decide if I can do some type of little special where you can get the spiral bound catalog free. Okay, so last week's shares and comments and I drew a name, and the lucky winner is going to get the, what are we calling these, metallic pearls. They're gold and silver, they are leaving, they won't be in the next catalog. And so the lucky winner of this is Eve Pribel. So Eve, I will get these popped in the mail to you. Um, Eve and I had some discussions back and forth last week over being left-handed. She's left-handed too, but apparently she doesn't cut like I cut. <laughs> So lots of different ways to learn things. Okay, so tonight I'm going to show you how to design a card. Everybody asks all the time, where do you come up with? Um, we've all made cards, we've all received cards, we look at ideas, but we don't always have that stamp set or that paper. So I'm gonna show you tonight some of the process when I find a really good layout that I like and how we go about switching. So. Let's go ahead and flip down. Give me just a minute. Oops, 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 oops. All right, let's get this thing pointed down. Oh, how about we switch that camera so you don't have to look at my hands. Okay, and yes, Sue, I love the new catalog too. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's get you back up here in the holder. Uh-oh, and now it's gonna go upside down. There we go. All right, bear with me, wiggling and jiggling. All right, let's get this brought up here so that you can. All right, I think we're pretty good. Hi, Tina, thanks for joining. Glenda, howdy. Okay, so. I received this card in the mail, and I loved the layout. I love the colors with this flowering fields paper, um, but decided that I wanted to use some of the things that are starting to go away a little bit. Well, I ended up not using, well, I take that back. I did one, so I will share another one with you, using Sweet as a Peach stamp set and the coordinating designer paper. Okay, so 
it's the same. I cut my designer paper a little wider than the card I received. And instead of the little cutouts here, I stamped my words. I've got ribbon on it. I've got designer paper on it. And then I stamped the peaches with the rock and roll method so that we have different colors. They're ripening on the vine. And then I added some of the artistic sequins um, on there. Okay, so that's fun. Just very quickly, you know, I looked at this one. I took some measurements quickly and I made this one. And then I decided that I was going to use the Heart and Home designer paper. We'll have this for a little while yet. It's in the mini catalog, so we'll have this till June. But this has this fun print on one side. Okay. Hey, Luann's with us. Yay. And then we have just this soft floral print. And then it's wood grain on the back also. And yes, Roseanne, this paper is very pretty. Hi, Pamela. Thank you for joining. Okay, and then I took from this one the little fresh freesia in the back. And so I have a piece of fresh freesia uh, cardstock that is five and a half by eight and a half. And then it scored at four and a quarter. Okay. Um, Cheryl, rock and roll method is. And I don't have it here, the stamp set here with me. But you ink up the peaches with, I started with pale papaya, the lighter one. And then I took Calypso Coral and I just roll the stamp onto the Calypso Coral. And it picks up some of the Calypso Coral. But I don't completely do it like this. I just roll the stamp on the stamp pad a little bit. So then it picks up and leaves me some lighter shades. Maybe I'll try to find one and we'll do that next week. We have, I haven't done that in a while. Okay, so we have our fresh freesia. And then we have a basic white that is four by five and a quarter. Okay, and so then I have designer paper that is two inches by five inches. So we're going, going to go ahead and adhere the designer paper. Hi, Susan. Thank you for joining. Okay, so we're going to put the designer paper right onto our basic white. Yes, I did not put it on another layer this time. I just put it down. Okay, and then I have a piece of the Fresh Freesia Open Weave Ribbon. We're going to put that across it. So we're going to go ahead and put our adhesive so that we're ready to put it down. And then we're just going to put this right across the center. And then we're gonna go ahead, whoops. We're gonna go ahead and attach it onto our card front. Okay. And then the other designer paper, this piece is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I have another coordinating piece of fresh freesia that's two and a half by three and a half. And so we're just going to adhere that down onto this. And then, of course, we're going to use dimensionals. Okay, so we're going to get the dimensionals on there. And then I like one in the center so that doesn't fall down. Okay. All right, let's get those little pieces out of the way. And then we're just going to attach this right onto here and I'm kind of going like a little bit left of center not very much just a little bit okay and then I used my layering circles and I die cut a fresh freesia that's about two and a half inches and then a basic white that is about two and an eighth inches okay so we're going to use the basic white one Oops, before I did that, I forgot to stamp my greeting. So I have Smoky Slate, and I'm using the Happy Birthday greeting out of Shaded Summer. Shaded Summer is a stamp set that we've had for a, a couple of years now, and there was a coordinating die set. The die set is coming back in the new catalog, so we're going to have a fabulous little bundle that is the stamp set and the coordinating bundle to die cut these great flowers and some other flowers along with it. 
So we can use this to cut out this one and this to cut out this one. And then we have some other great flowers to be able to use also. So keep your eye out for a class using this. You'll get the bundle in the class and that'll be fun. So we're gonna use the happy birthday and we're just going to stamp that at the bottom. Now, normally you would do that before you attach the other pieces, okay? And then we're gonna take the stamp and we're gonna use markers. So I've got fresh freesia, pale papaya, and garden green. So we're gonna use the garden green on all of the stem leaf looking things. And I do that one first, because if that dries a little bit, I'm okay, because it's the darkest color. The other colors are pretty pale. Okay, so we're just gonna color in all the way around there. Let's see, those are flowers. We want the stem and the leaves. What'd you guys do this weekend? I didn't see any comments back earlier. So put in your comments, what did you do this weekend? All right, and then we're gonna use the pale papaya on the large flower in the center. I know Roseanne has a grandchild about to be born any time in the next couple of weeks. Oh, thanks, Tina. Okay, and then we're gonna use fresh freesia on all the little tulipy looking flowers. Okay, it's great to be able to use your markers. You can get all different colors on your stamp instead of like the greens and everything all being one color. Okay, and then we're gonna breathe, huff on it a little bit to re-moisten that ink. And then we're just going to stamp that down. Oh, I saw that picture, Cheryl, with the, your great nephew. He is adorable. And your youngest son's birthday, yay. Look at how pretty that is. And it coordinates right in with the designer paper. Oh, you had a great time, Annie. You and Tina together. I wanna know when you guys are coming down here for a class, so that what, like a Saturday class and I can spend the day with the two of you. Okay, and then, of course, now this one, I'm going to do it flat, but. This edge over here is gonna hang off. So I want dimensionals just under this little section here, and then I'll just use seal on this part of it. Okay, so I'll go about in half with this seal, and then I'll put dimensionals there, and then we're just gonna add that right onto there. And then, of course, we could use a little bit of bling. So we're gonna use our brushed brass butterflies again. And I'm just gonna add a little one in there. And then I'm gonna put a big one up here. And another big one, how about right there? And just like that. So look at this, how different each of these cards look. And I took all of the ideas from this one that I received in the mail. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, they all look completely different. You can do your designer papers skinnier or wider. Um, if you have dies that do or um, embossing folders or things that do like little cutouts and stuff, you could add that. I decided I wanted the words here instead of the designer paper like here. And then you can add whatever ribbon coordinates and any embellishments to help doll it up a little bit. In fact, I think I want a little butterfly down here on this one, okay? So isn't that pretty? It's just that simple. When you get a card in the mail or you see one on my blog post, but you go, oh, I don't have that stamp set, pull it out and take a look. 
It's very easy to change them out, okay? Now, I also wanted to share with you tonight, and I don't have the stamp set yet. I am waiting on my pre-order from the new catalog. It's supposed to be delivered tomorrow. So next week, I'll be able to share a few little fun new things with you. But we signed up for an event, um, some team members and I. So last week on Thursday, we got together and watched this virtual event. And we... We each got a free stamp set for signing up, and we got different ones. So two of the girls got one called Bottled Happiness, and I got a birthday card that was made with the Bottled Happiness. Now, look at how adorable this is. She colored this all in. Nancy made this. Nancy, thank you so much. And then she used markers like we did tonight to color in the flowers. This is two separate stamps. So she inked up first with the greens, well, one way or the other, and then used the pink, polished pink, fresh freesia, misty moonlight, and I'm guessing bumblebee, but not positive, and then ink those all up and stamp those down in there. Look at how adorable this is. She used the scallop contour dies, which are staying, so that one's a very good one to have, and then she fussy cut around here, and she added two of the iridescent, uh, three of the iridescent rhinestones. Aren't those pretty? So this is really awesome with evening evergreen and soft succulent. And then the ribbon, which the ribbon is carrying over into the new catalog. So that's a plus. So this is a little sneak peek of one of the new things coming in the catalog. You are going to love it. I promise you. This is one of the first times I've looked at the catalog straight through and really like the catalog when I first got it. Usually I have to warm up a little bit. The layout and the colors of this one just really pop and jump at me. So I'm excited to get the new products and start playing the new in colors. We'll use those next week for sure. Um, next week, I think we're going to start getting ready for May Day. Who does a basket for May Day and leaves little treats someplace? Um, I found a couple of really cute little um, baskets and things. And so I can't wait to be able to do some fun things with the new products. Nancy got her new stuff yesterday, it looks like. Oh, yay. That's awesome. Okay. So that's what I have for you tonight, kind of short and sweet, but I know that many times when you're signing up for swaps and things, and you always tell me, I don't know, where do you come up with the ideas? This is one of the ways. Take a card that we already made and change it up, okay? So everybody have a great week, a very happy Easter, and I will see you next Monday night. Take care. Bye-bye.